Hello dear learners, welcome to my video class. This is Alamuddin Pramanik talking to you, lecturer in English, Ajizilak Memorial Degree College, Kahalu Bogura. How are things going on? I think everything is going on very nicely. Okay, today in this class, I'll talk about modifiers. You can see on the whiteboard, I have written modifier. This is the introductory class about modifier to you. Uh, at first, I want to give you a definition of modifier. Actually, what is modifier? Modifier is a word. And we can give the definition of modifier like this. The word which limits the sense of another word is called a modifier actually a modifier modifies another word so the word which modifies the other word is called a modifier simply we can say okay um, adjective adverb participle infinitive Possessive, demonstrative, etc., can be used as modifiers. And in my next classes, I will discuss them continuously. So keep connected with the video classes, and you should be very much attentive. Actually, this chapter is very easy. It's very easy to learn. It's not very complicated. It is an easy chapter. And to understand clearly this chapter, <clears throat> you have to be highly attentive. Okay, now come to the point. Modifier is of two kinds. Modifier is of two kinds according to their position in sentences. First one, pre modifier, and second one, post modifier. Pre modifier and post modifier. In these two ways, a word can modify the other word. What is pre modifier? I will show you some examples, but I want to give you some information orally. Pre modifier. The modifier which is said before the word it modifies is called pre modifier. I have to write something pre modifier. Pre modifier. This is an example. This is an example of pre modifier. I am going to write um, this is a dash release. I have written a very short sentence, yes, a simple sentence. This is a dash village. Here we can say any word to modify the word village. I will write small and you can write big also. It will depend on the passage, on the context you are given in the exam. According to the meaning of the context you have given in the exam we should fill up the gap, we should modify the word. Okay, I have written small. Actually, the word small has modified the word village. And here we can see the small is said before the word village. Small, the word small is seen before the word village. So, here small is the P modifier. 
small is the pre modifier because it is said before the word before the noun village before okay so uh, now uh, we will see another example of post modifier post modifier post modifier post modifier we saw the boy dash in the field i have told you these are the examples these are the examples uh, you will be given a question in bracket in exam but i have not written the question i i'm giving you just examples i we saw the boy dash in the field so here we can uh, say anything we like according to the meaning of the sentence here we will modify the uh, noun boy the boy then we can say play. We saw the boy playing in the field. Here playing, the word playing modifies the word boy, modifies the noun boy. Here playing has modified the word boy. And we can see here playing is after the noun after the word boy we find the word playing after the noun boy so here playing is the post modifier of boy here playing is the post modifier of the noun boy because playing is after the word boy so it is clear for us if the modifier is before the word it modifies is called a pre modifier and if the modifier is after the word it modifies is a post modifier so modifier is of two kinds according to their position their function is same but according to their position in sentences modifier is of two kinds if it is before the word it is called pre modifier if the modifier is after the word then it is called post modifier so we have seen something about modifier um, now i am going to say something about pre modifier at first we will talk about pre modifier not not post modifier We will talk about post modifier in uh, some next classes. But today I will show you some examples of pre modifier. I have already told you uh, adjective, adverb, participle, intensifier, etc., etc., can be used as modifier and they can also be used as pre modifier. Uh, now I would like to show you. An example of pre modifier. How can how can an adjective be used as a pre modifier? I will show you. Adjective. Adjective as pre modifier. The river has lost its look. Um, we are talking about pre modifier. The river has lost its dash look. The river has lost its beautiful look. 
ब्यूटीफुल लुक या ब्यूटीफुल इज द पी मॉडिफायर ऑफ लुक या लुक इज अ नाउन लुक इज अपियरेंस अपियरेंस नाउन या ब्यूटीफुल इज द पी मॉडिफायर ऑफ लुक सो वी कैन सी दैट an adjective can be used as p modifier and we have to remember we always remember that an adjective is used only to modify noun or pronoun that means an adjective can modify only a noun or pronoun so we should remember it an adjective can modify only a noun or pronoun then number 2 adverb we can say many things about adverb but i am going to say you something adverb as pre modifier the uh here in this gap uh we are to use an adverb because i have written here adverb the building is dash high the building is dash high and we are asked to fill up the gap with an adverb as modifier p modifier uh, here we can say uh, so we can write the building is very high the building is very high so here very is the p modifier of high and here very is an adverb uh, i have already told you an adjective can modify only a noun or pronoun and like this i want to say you an adverb can modify a verb an adjective and even another adverb an adverb can modify three part of speech an adverb can modify an adjective a verb and even an adverb so here the adverb very has modified the adjective high so here very is adverb and it is pre modifier okay um now i don't want to long my lecture so no more today in my next class i will show you some more examples of pre modifier and if you want to learn modifiers very clearly you must attend my classes regularly and you must not avoid any class if you break any class you will lose many things so try to be regular continuously in my video classes okay thank you very much see you again